Hi guys, it's Amber Marie and Eskies and Danny sitting here having an apple. Organic apple, of course. For my homesteading friends. Just you know we do the organic fruits with him. It's too hot for that, baby. Sit. Stay, please. <laughs> he plays puppy sometimes, so that's what we do. Um Yeah. So I was recording and thought I was gonna hit pause and the phone distracted me and I hit yeah, figures. It's going to be one of those days. Anyway, so I'm just going to try and, and do this over. So, my morning has been crazy and long and crazy. But my husband is over at his father's having to deal with him. I am sick at the idea and so was he. He loves his father. Don't, don't get me wrong, folks. But if you had ever met his father, you, you'd be going, I don't ever want to talk to him. What is wrong with him? I'm not kidding. It's just, it's a horrifying situation. And without Kevin's mom there to try to buffer a little bit of Ed's mouth. Um, there's no hope for a good relationship between the two. Kevin does what he does out of a sense of obligation. And the constant guilt trips from his father. So... It's guilt trips and you're a piece of crap. All in one conversation, just so you know. Um, and he hates me, so I really... Don't care. It's hurtful, but it is what it is. Yeah. I've done everything that you can possibly do to be a good daughter-in-law, daughter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's no winning with this man. He made up his mind about me before he ever met me. Anyway, so today... Danny's finishing up his apple and some purified spring water and then I'm going to let him do his writing book and then if he's a good, uh, good, 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 good boy, he can do some coloring later. But Grandmama is going to get out the really good quality colored pencils, the Prismacolor Premieres, which I've had for decades, guys, because I was a published artist many, many, many years ago. Along with my music, I had a thing for horses and wolves, so I drew them and started getting into some light color in the eyes and things, and then the accident happened. So that's how that went. But I'm also going to get out some pencils that I think are a little more chalky in texture because I decided I'm going to do a page out of this today, okay? Now the reason I say a page, because I am completely anal retentive. <laughs> OCD, whatever you want to call it. I don't have OCD, so it's just anal retentive. I'm a perfectionist. It's in my nature. It is what made me a good musician and a good mom and a good daughter and makes me very difficult for most people to deal with on a just momentary basis because I just, I'm kind of looking at them thinking, wow, okay. And I think that's how they think of me is, wow. What the heck is wrong with her? Why doesn't she have teeth? She looks like a hag. I say hag. I, keep, I got called a, a meth addict. By a drug addict. And I'm like, really? You are talking to who? Because I've never touched that kind of crap. I've, I've never even tried marijuana. I can't. I walk near it and I have allergy problems. If I walk through the smoke and don't realize what I'm doing, I'd break out in hives and have an asthma attack. Hello? No? Thank you. So, <laughs> I guess it's one of those days, isn't it? I'm going to position this on the right thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try and spend a little time. If I can't find one in there that I'm happy doing, then I will go to one of my other many, many, many books. Although I see sunflowers and I love the sunflowers. It's a childhood memory I'll have to tell you about sometime. This is a cute story. It's a sweet story about my grandfather. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it. Are we just going to do some coloring today, Danny, and some writing? Yeah? Okay. That's the answer. And you're going to what? You're going to clean your apple? Yeah, it means he's going to finish his apple. It's almost done, baby. Don't eat the seeds. Okay. 
when he wants to he's a really really sweet baby when he's with us for a, you know after a day or two settles right down behaves himself he's great after a few days he wants his mom you know and that's great then i just call my daughter come get him your baby wants you or come over here for a couple days whatever you want to do depending on your schedule if you're not working those days then you know what come home to home home and have some mommy food mommy's gonna cook if you're coming home i'll cook that's how i bribe her into coming home <laughs> no 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 baby she's at work yeah okay so yeah i think that's gonna be the day i do i don't know there could be more but i've already got grilled chicken breasts stuffed with asparagus and cheddar cheese and yes it is all homemade my husband made them because he knows bless you yes i know he knows that i love asparagus i love asparagus i wouldn't have chosen cheddar but it's good it's very good it's just i wouldn't have thought of normal cheddar for that so danny i don't understand do your book if you want to do your book. I let you use a pencil. Three-year-olds. I don't understand him half the time. I think he has a, a hearing issue or, or a palate formation issue. But the pediatrician they were going to said, Oh no, his ears are fine. So we're going to go to Dr. Bodie and find out. I have no idea what you meant. I'm working. There's nothing in there. Nope. Because uh, I had it last night before bed. You're not getting Cheetos. Nope. I know what he wants. He's pointing to my Cheetos paws. He's not getting them. That's junk food preservatives and that's a rare little tiny bit and since I have him alone tonight he's really not getting them stop pushing on my bag please hush do your book <sighs> I swear I swear I swear um maybe I won't get to color today at the rate he's going He's being kind of whiny, so it may be one of those days where I don't get to relax or enjoy anything. I just get to deal with it. I hope not. I hope he has a good day. Anyway, so I'll let you know how it goes when I get him to bed. <laughs> for the rest of you, for everybody actually, my thoughts and prayers are with all of you and... I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and a great Easter with your families. And I hope you get to be with your families. This is the first year I don't get to be with any of my family. And it, it kind of sucks. So, and you're going to say, but your husband. No, he has to go to his father's tomorrow too, it turns out. Because my father-in-law does not give two blessings about anybody else's desires or needs. It's, as I, and I'm quoting, all about him. The verbatim, it was, it's all about me. You are insignificant. To his son. He just said that to me and I'd have gone off. But that's, yeah, well, I'd have told him, no, you're 78 years old and you're on your way out. I still have a life to go. I have a grandbaby to worry about. You have nothing to deal with. Just watch your TV and hush. I'd probably told him maybe when you learn to ask instead of demanding and being noxious then we'll change the order of events here because Kevin was going over there when he was behaving and then when he started getting really mean again Kevin just it takes everything he has to get out of his bed to go over there or to muster up enough energy to get in the car I'm not kidding Guys, it's, it's horrifying to me because I was so close to my Bob. And yet I understand it because 
I don't think there's much that you could do to get me in the car even to go to Joyce's funeral. I'm not kidding you. I, the woman was just, oh, and I've said for years, if he wants to get remarried like he was trying to do, he ought to go meet her. They get along great because they're both selfish. And they're both complete and utter narcissists. And she drives, so that'll work good. Um, anyway. Ooh, that just is a point of contention at the moment. I'm really sorry, guys. But I love you all, and I do hope you have a great, great, great Easter with your families. And I hope you have lots of goodies. Eat some ham for me. Because I can't. And I love shank portion ham. Cook's brand shank portion ham is my favorite, and it's really hard to find out here. It used to be prevalent, but... Hmm, eras change. Sadly. Can we just go back to when I was, like, in the 80s when families gave a damn about each other? I don't know. It's not my kids' fault that they can't be here. They all have to work. It's not... It's... There's no negotiating this. Uh, one works for the federal government. One works for a food company. One works for... Because he used to be a federal employee as Navy. And I think one is starting to work for Circle K. Well... They don't take Easter off, guys. None of those organizations take Easter off. So, it is what it is. And they don't get Sundays off, which sucks. They never have the same days off. So, that sucks. Because I can't do family suppers. You know, which, when they were growing up, that was the requirement. Sunday supper, we, nope. <coughs> there are no other plans. Even through high school, they'd tell their friends, uh oh, mom's cooking Sunday. I'm not going anywhere. Sorry. Nope. I can spend the night Saturday night, but I'm going home Sunday morning because 4 o'clock, supper goes on, dinner goes on the table, and mom is not kidding. And if we're not there, well, sorry. And she's going to be very hurt and upset because she worked her little behind off. And at the time, I had a little everything. Well, almost everything. <clears throat> sadly uh, so yeah that's gonna hopefully Danny and I will have a fun day since I don't get Easter with my grandbaby what'd you do no you put that back in the refrigerator and don't you go in my refrigerator again without permission little boy he is three he's the out of his ever loving mind I gotta go attend to this kid so I love y'all we'll talk to you later bye